Hmm. Well, it looks like a very eventful um, situation is about to happen that you probably didn't expect. You were focusing on something else and then it's like boom, okay? It's like you left something unattended and then you expect like, oh, it's gonna be taken care of. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine, while it wasn't. If we're talking about a relationship, Capricorn, parts of you probably right now feel guilty because there was signs, there was indication that the relationship wasn't doing well. But you were too busy. You were focused on something else, work, your career, your finances, because that takes precedence to a Capricorn's life. Now, during the time, Capricorn, it was an SHIT show. The relationship was a mess, but you didn't want to be disturbed. Your focus was the stability of your life, your health, the money, the bills. You didn't have time to take care of it. And for whatever reason, you felt like I have, I can't do anything. I can't do anything, Sal. So I'll be doing something that I'm good at. Eight of Swords is your first card, Capricorn. That's the card of like a mental place in our life where it's impossible. You feel it was impossible. The tower. It's impossible to get out of this relationship. It's impossible to um, get rid of the negativity in the relationship. It is what it is, you know. And that's why the universe comes in and helps you and assists you with the tower, separates you. So there can be some a, you know, like breakup that has happened, a divorce, a separation. And right now what you're doing is Eight of Pentacles. You're really just focusing on climbing the corporate ladder, focusing on your side hustle, making sure that the bills are paid, going back to school, learning a new skill, going back to your health regimen, eating healthy, and just letting things be. So for you, it's like, it's done, Sal. It's over. We separated. There's nothing I can do or, uh, like, do or undo. It is what it is. But you won't be here if it is what it is. Chances are part of you are still trying to understand what has happened, really. Mm. Temperance. It's true, then. On your situation you feel that it could have worked out, temperance. I could have met them halfway. I could have been more patient, but I couldn't be more patient. Eight of Swords with a temperance. I run out of patience. So. <laughs> I, you know, am I going crazy here? This is what you're saying because eight goes to the nine of swords. It's just humanly impossible to be there for someone when they're not there for me. It was clearly one-sided. This is what you're saying. I'm hurt by this reading, <laughs> Nine of Wands. It put me into a place, you, to see what really has happened. Nine of Wands can be a card of like being guarded and you don't want anything right now. And I don't blame you. I mean, you, get, you went through a breakup. So the Nine of Wands, and then you have a King of Pentacles with the Two of Wands, okay. 30 days it took me, I was down to zero. I have nothing, but then I work with a Piao and then I saw results. It has increased my business, my focus, and it has removed a lot of negativity in my life. And I needed that, especially like I'm coming from nothing. Now, I mean, look at it. I have the store from nothing, four years running now. It's doing amazing. If you're manifesting something right now, go to our website, www.etreadlove.me and find that Piao that connects with you. 
you have an expectation. I feel like this expectation you have is way, way beyond what the universe can give to you. But this is the hope that can be reconciling, can be about fixing it or hearing back from them. I have to say this can be unrealistic because the 12 of Wands is like, I'm just here, I'm waiting. King of Pentacles, I'm ready when they're at, where, when, they're, when they are ready. Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Now, this is the part where the Capricorn is saying, I can give more than anyone, you know. You could be trying to convince the person that you care, that you love, to look back. Ten of Pentacles. Because you're here. You're going to be present. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be present. I'm going to give you the attention, give you the focus. And again, I feel like you are over-compromising. Uh, is it over-compromising? Oh, no, over-extending yourself to the situation. Because you're saying here, look at, look at what I can give. You know, when I'm focused, I can get it. Mm -hmm. Now, some of you are really manifesting this Ten of Pentacles, which is related to your business, your career, your finances, right? And this is something that I, I would like to think, at least have gone through the nothing, which is a tower, which I had nothing, and I have accumulated. One thing that I use is, for me, is the Piao. I wear it on my left wrist, you will see it always there. And then, of course, this is our magnetic uh, wealth bracelet. There is a whole class free in the description box below, you can check it out. We also ship um, international and it's available um, in different sizes, so make sure to check it out. Okay, I tag it also on the corner of this video. All right, so let's continue here. Right now, you don't really know what's going on between the two of you. You have the Two of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. After the separation, the breakup, you're trying to put two and two together. This is like after the storm, Seven of Cups. And you're realizing, well, one, you can't realize right now because you're in the cloud. Okay, it, it feels like you were shocked. Like you didn't expect, like you guys will break up. It was zero to 100. Okay. Now, let's see your person here. So you're actually puzzled, mm -hmm. questioning with the Seven of Cups. Nine of Wands hurt, okay. Eight of Swords kind of like paranoid, but not to the full extent. Now in your person's energy, okay. They're, they're difficult to handle. Ace of Coins with the Moon. Okay. Because their mind is always changing about what they want. One minute they want to talk to you, see you, and be with you. The next thing you know, it's like you're just a stranger to them. Because they would say also, well, you know, I'm busy. I didn't have time to text, to call, to put energy and focus into this relationship. Then it's showing now that there are two parties here or who are guilty of why the relationship didn't work. One person is very passionate, which is them. I feel passionate to whatever that they're doing, except the relationship. So all their attention basically is focused onto this venture, the wands, their desire. So if they get what they want, they go for it. But here's the situation. They're not focusing on you also. So the two of you tried to build a relationship. Well, the two of you are so busy also in each other's lives. And then next thing you know, you feel like your person has been keeping some secret Seven of Cups with the moon. Chances are they are because the Seven of Cups is, is somewhat like a Seven of Swords. It's not a lie, but it's a deceitful kind of offer. So not everything basically is, um, you know, not everything that glitters is gold. Now, the way that your person has treated you, Six of Pentacles, is a card of the breadcrumbs, right? We know that. So, their focus is something else. Now, what I'm seeing here, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, they're having a good time. They'll be with you when they can. That's when you broke up with them. You were hurt because you were not a priority. King of Coins. So it's always something else. It's always something else. It was never just you and them. 
Strength card, King of Coins, and Temperance, one of five pentacles, the no contact, right? The reconciliation, how can we reconcile if the other person, Sal, refuses to cooperate, right? But having the two of you, uh, meaning here, with the temperance, then clearly, okay, if you see that, your person really has this sense of like, um, like I feel like they want to fight strength in the king of coins for disconnection, but they refuse to talk. And then you did try to talk, but you were hurt. Mm -hmm. So you open up. Now, your person wants something from you. I'm not sure if you can give it. Because on their end, this is what I'm seeing, is that there are or there is something that they want to tell you and then do, but they're too scared but they're about to. If you want to know more about this reading and you're connecting with it, link in the description box below for the extended reading. Make sure to check out, of course, our Piao collection. This is available, link in the description box. You will see it there. You can also see it, I tag the products. And of course, it is handcrafted by us right here. You know, we made amazing, you know, we make amazing fine jewelry and gemstones. So make sure to check it out.